Have you been using Kafka and been really excited about the progress you were making, but wondering, hey, how can I scale this usage out on a much larger scale? Well, if so, you're going to love our topic today on event endpoint management. Hello, my name is Jamil Spain, IBM Developer Advocate and Brand Technical Specialist in the U.S. financial services market. To cover the topic of event endpoint management, I wanted to bring out four major tips that you can use to, which really encompasses the discipline of describing and managing your event topics here. So we're going to start off by filling these in and we'll discuss these points as we go. The first is that these event topics need to be described. Now there's a specification called the Async API, which is the pretty much the industry standard on how to describe events as topic or topics as events, um, which is the industry standard here. And what it really aims to do is give uh, events the same comfort as we have grown to love with APIs. And let's face it, now um, developers will want to implement APIs, but they love to have that kind of that swagger interface that they can quickly go ahead and, and start to go. Which brings me to my next point, events should be discoverable. And what this entails is uh, kind of the catalog format of having all the events in one place, tagged with a taxonomy, so it's easy for me to search and, and cataloged and, and very presentable for me to actually go in and read the specification for. Again, another great trend that we're used to for a lot of API developer portals. The fourth we're going to say is you should have So I'll say that you'll have decentralized access here. So what this pretty much says is people should be free to explore. All right, the innovation usually comes um, where I'm, I'm free to kind of go out and, and use it at my own comfort. I kind of equivocate it to like when I'm on Netflix and I get to browse the catalog and really find the movies as I want to go, kind of getting my own rabbit hole here. Some of the trends that go along with that is the capability to be self-service where I get to register my applications and truly have some way to have trackable usage on what I'm using, getting that feedback there as well. And the last is decoupled access. So we really want to find a way that's very scalable and less fragile. Again, the information or Kafka as a whole, the, 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 the process of providing access to event topics should not really impede on how I'm forced to implement it here. And so by putting this interface in front, that will really give me a scalable way that I can expose access to this and still accomplish what I'm trying to do inside my architecture here. So hopefully that describes the general arena of managing events um, um, and, and the things you need to pay attention to and watch out for. Let's move over to the right and do a little diagram about really depicting what it looks like and how it works. So for this, let's start out with our usual uh, 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 diagram that everyone knows, which is how API management works. And again, that we, we already know that APIs get socialized. Uh, let's say I am a user, and I'm sitting at my laptop, and I'm going to be looking at a developer portal. We'll call that acronym, that DP. Um, and then there's the concept of a gateway, all right, API gateway. And now as I browse in the developer portal, I see something that I want to subscribe to. Basically, when I go to implement, I'm going to be actually going consuming through the API gateway. And as we know, it has an interface to go out and hit some other uh, back end service as is. So that's a, a normal practice that's, that's always there. Again, all the APIs are described in the developer portal. But this, let's put these, these, these particular uh, initiatives to, to work here. When event endpoint management comes into play, let's switch our marker here. So with events, we're still going to have the same developer portal here, a portal that describes and lists all our particular events as they go. 
and we're also going to have the concept of a gateway. So let's call it the EV, the event gateway. All right, so as I am still being the user, let's take the same user. So they're looking at APIs and alongside that, they have access to also browse topics here, a third tier that they can do, which will then, as they go to consume these, will go through the API gateway and then be able to consume from Kafka there and provide the particular information back as they would do. So by using the developer portal, developers get to quickly scale up and, 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 and be able to um, look at the events that are there and know, be able to test that out, quickly implement and get going. And as you become your Kafka, become Kafka as a service or a very uh, Kafka first environment where you want to expose a lot of data directly through event topics, this is a great way with event endpoint management to really get that program going and facilitate that. So thank you for your time. Hope it was very useful in your, um, uh, in your use of Kafka here. And I look forward to hearing your stories about how you'll be using event endpoint management in your architecture. Thank you. If you have any questions, please drop us a line below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe.